Good morning, Arson. Good morning. Good news on the injury front with the likely return of Jack Wilshere and Theo Walcott. Is it a measure of your side's form that you've done pretty well, even though they've been out of the side? Yes, but uh, you know, it's uh, the results are depending more on the global energy of the team and the confidence level, and uh, we have built that up over the recent uh, weeks, and. Uh, so I believe the more we have a way to play, and when we do that well, everybody in the squad can contribute. That the Walcott and Wiltshire are back is a plus for us, and uh, we welcome, of course, them back. Thomas Rosicki was a big doubt, or is a big doubt. Is he definitely out? Do you know that? There's a test today. I will make a decision today about Rosicki, and I hope that uh, he will be fit. It's sad news in a way because he performed so well last week, was hitting form as well. Yeah, he, uh, we love him as a player and uh, as a person as well, of course, but uh, uh, what has been reproached to him is not to score enough goals, but uh, when he starts to score, you do not want him to get injured. Away from Arsenal, the Premier League ratified the use of goal line technology yesterday. We know where you stand on, on this, but presumably you want this to be the start of something, not to just end there with goal line technology, but move forward. Yes, uh, I'm, uh, it's good news, and I hope there's more good news to come on technology, because we want uh, the right decisions to be taken and uh, uh, more assistance the referees uh, get, the better it is when you look at the level of the refereeing that you have seen again in Europe this week. It's absolutely disastrous uh, what happened and uh, the major decisions that have gone wrong in the Champions League. It's not, football cannot accept that that lasts. Can you just expand on what you mean by the, the uh, When you have four players who are offside and nobody sees it, uh, how, how can that happen? And that after again in the same action, another player is offside and scores a goal, and we stand here and defend that, it's not defendable. Just because we do not want to, to progress and to move forward, it's absolutely not acceptable. I'll move on to the, the Norwich game, if I may, just my, my last question. Um, how big a test will that be, and how important is it for you, given you've got three games before Tottenham play again, all of which are in London, so it's a big chance for you and it's the start on Saturday. Well, uh, we do not have to look at other teams, we just want to focus on how we want to play and uh, to win our games, that's all we, we want to do, focus on ourselves and uh, win our games, continue to play the way we play with the same spirit and uh, go even from strength to strength in every single game. And that's, that's it, that's our target. Uh, I said that many times. There's no room for dropping points, which, uh, but there's room for winning points, and that's what you want to achieve. Would you like to see what, some kind of cameras for, for offside as well? Then? I would like at least to see that in major decisions like that, where you go to a semi final of a Champions League or not, that the referee has the opportunity to check if the goal is valid or not. You know, and uh, <coughs> I think uh, it's you cannot say you love football and accept that these kind of decisions are made and go home and say, okay, sorry, bad luck, and uh, next time we come back. And for me, it has nothing to do with uh, financial involvement at all or with financial implications, just to do with justice. You could be. Just talking about Spurs, and I know Chelsea are involved as well, but you could be, by the next time Spurs play, seven points above them. How, how, how much would that be? We don't calculate like that. We just focus on our next game and try to win it. You know, does Spurs play or not? We have to consider that Spurs can win their games, and the only way to deal with it is us to win the games. We have a clear target. This, uh, we know for a long time now that the our main target is just to win our games. Is them now being out of Europe a help or a hindrance to them? Don't mind and don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas from Ireland will obviously be back. 
you commented on his attitude during the last few weeks. Van Marlen, fantastic. He's a great uh, man, of, first of all, and a great uh, fighter. And uh, he's a winner. And he fights for his place to fight his place back, find his place back. And uh, uh, that's all. He uh, gains even more respect. Sometimes you gain more respect when you don't play than when you play, because uh, his attitude has been absolutely marvellous. He's rated very highly, isn't he, around the world. Do you, do you, do you see his future here at Arsenal? <coughs> yes, of course. Uh, you, you know, uh, he has a long-term contract. He's our captain. And uh, periods where you don't play uh, can happen. And uh, that's part of our job, to be in competition or not. Keeping the central defenders happy is obviously difficult with three quality players, and yet you've still been linked again with Ashley Williams. Well, uh, I cannot stop that. Any truth? There's no truth in anything at the, at the moment, because we are not at all on the transfer market. We, we are just on our uh, focusing on our next games. Because David Dean, a man I know you admire, and, uh, and as a good friend of yours says that your fire's in the belly and you're, you're ready to spend big and now's the time to spend big. I, I, uh, for me, uh, what is important is just to have a good team and good players. And uh, I cannot say much more than that, that I want to win every single game. That is for sure. If you do finish third and you prove the critics wrong yet again, well, is that a good time to go in the summer? Well, you know, uh, what is important is uh, in the summer, no matter how we finish, is to strengthen the team uh, in the right positions. And uh, But it is not the moment for me uh, to assess that now. I think uh, that decision will be made in the summer. I know that in the press you have always to anticipate but we have to live and deal with the present. And live and deal with the present for us is a, we are, have, have a serious job to do, is to focus and win our games. What's Andre Arshavin's future? His end of contract at the end of the season, and uh, then he will decide what he will do. Will he be staying here? Any chance of staying here? I don't think he will stay here because he doesn't play enough, you know. but. Uh, I must say publicly I would like to give him credit, he's working absolutely every session, 100% commitment and he's an example for everybody because he has been many times questioned about his uh, uh, commitment but uh, you would see him every day, you would uh, respect him for what he's doing on a daily basis, it's absolutely fantastic. Thanks very much Austin, last one from me if I may, sorry to keep you, uh, Roy Hodgson has criticised uh, players using the international break to go and get some sunshine on their, on their backs. What's, what's your view of that? I don't think it's right. Uh, I, uh, I have players, they want always to go for the national team. You know, they are proud to be in the national team and they want to play for the national team. Uh, there's one specific example, is the example of Rio Ferdinand, that honestly I don't know really uh, what's happened there. But Overall, I must say, in 99% of the cases, uh, the players want really to go and play for the national team. Arsene, um, you say Rizicki as a fitness test. Um, what sort of percentage should you give him? Who? Rizicki. 50-50. Not more. As far as the goal mouth technology issue is concerned, one of the reasons that uh, people have put forward why it's been slow to come in is because people say, or some people say, slow the game down. Have you ever gone along with that? No. <laughs> no, because uh, I could say to you when a referee speaks to a player and speaks for two minutes with him, be careful, because if you come back next time uh, and you make a bad tackle again, I will be in a position where I have to give you a yellow card. It doesn't say, do anything else. And... Uh, uh, it's, you can argue it slows the game down. He, when a goalkeeper kicks a ball out on a goal kick and takes a minute to t kick the ball out, it slows the game down. So I don't believe that it would slow the game down at all if it's done in a, in a good way. 
there's a lot of things to to uh, work out, you know, because even if you look at the goal line technology, it took them uh, two years to get it right. But uh, I'm amazed that uh, we are just resistant by principle in our sport and uh, to move forward for more justice. If it was just to be to sell more publicity, I would say, yes, I agree with you, if it's just that. If it's for a financial reason, I don't agree with, for it. But if it's to get more decisions right, uh, I think we have to all to fight for it. You, you say uh, you don't mind, you don't care about Spurs going out the Europa League last night. Do, do you think... No, I, do not, I didn't say that. I said I don't mind if it has an incidence or not, and I don't care about that because I care about our results. Yeah. But do you think it will have I an do not say. So, I, I, it's better that the English club stay in, in, in the, the competitions. And that's uh, one of the things we have to analyse. I thought about that this morning, is that all the English clubs basically have gone out of the European competitions. Because Chelsea has been in the Champions League and been re uh, put into the, the Europa League. So I don't consider them to be in the Europa League from the start. But all the other English clubs have gone out. And that's <coughs> what uh, is the fact, you know. But we have to analyse, we cannot continue and say we are the best in the world and all our clubs go out in Europe. Do, do you think that it's going to have an effect on the, the Champions League placings you know, for the next... It can have an effect, do you, yes. Do you think that will sort of galvanise... Not for next year, but uh, if we have a second year like that, uh, we will pay for it, of course. Jim James. Jim James. Jim. Um, Arsene, uh, you mentioned about the Champions League refereeing this week. I mean, do you, is that an exception to the rule, do you think? Or do you think the standard of refereeing in Europe is not what it was? Maybe I think uh, this year it has been very poor. Honestly, through the competition. Just in the Champions League? Or? Just in the Champions League, the refereeing has been very poor. Why? I don't know. I don't know, but... Uh, uh, you analyse all the teams who are today in the Champions League semi-final how they've gone through. There are many, many decisions uh, uh, that have been wrong. I don't know why. I mean, we've got goal line technology now in the Premier League, but UEFA remain opposed to it. They say that the controversy is good for the game, but it's, it's good for football. You really wouldn't agree with that. <laughs> the controversy is not good for football. What is good for football is the right decisions, you know. That you go home. You, we all accept that if we play against a team who is better and that we lost, congratulations, bye bye. But uh, it's frustrating to lose against a team uh, when you know it's just down to the, to the decision of a referee. For example, in the first game, Paris Saint Germain, when you look at all the games, Paris Saint Germain against Barcelona, the score goal is two meters offside. And we have a guy behind the goal line. He doesn't say it uh, was offside. And you can go through all the games where major decisions have gone wrong. And uh, you could, we can say, yes, that's part of the game. Or we can say, let's try to, to improve it. I'm more uh, <coughs> willing to try to improve it. And the technology can help. You have for opted for those additional referees behind the mm -hmm. goal. Do you, do you think they do anything that are they beneficial? The least you can say it's not convincing. When I when I can show you a, an incident when you played against Bayern Munich, the defender kicks the ball out in the corner, in front of the, the, guy, uh, the fifth referee. The linesman gives goal kick, and the guy who's behind the line says nothing at all, and he lets give a goal kick. So I, I do, it's difficult for us to understand what is really the part of, of that contribution. And just finally for me, uh, do you hope then that the fact that the Premier League have brought in goal line technology might put extra pressure on UEFA to say... Okay, it will. If it works, what I think it will, I don't, not, I don't see how it can fail. Yeah. Uh, it is a good start, yes. Jim, what um, difference are you expecting to see in this Norwich side tomorrow from the one you saw last season? Well... Uh, not, I, don't, I don't expect a difference because Norwich will fight not to go down and uh, that means uh, you expect a full commitment, complete focus on defending well and catching us on the, on the breaks. That's what they did at home. Uh, the thing is, uh, when they beat us over there, 
they had a one of ten games unbeaten run. And it's quite funny because uh, and amazing what they did because they made the ten games unbeaten run where they took 22 points and outside that period uh, they struggled. So we have to make sure tomorrow that we uh, go into the game with the right focus and uh, and uh, put them under pressure because they, they will certainly defend very well and try to catch us on breaks. Does that, you, you said there about that un, unbeaten run, is it kind of difficult <coughs> to, to understand because able to beat Arsenal, Manchester United, Everton and then all of a sudden can't get, I think it's one win in 15. Yeah, it's, it's difficult to maintain that complete focus for, for 38 games, you know, where and certainly when you're in full power and full confidence, uh, things go a bit more for you than normal, but uh, uh, I believe that uh, uh, as well in the Premier League, the difference is made on very, very, very little. And uh, when you just drop a fraction, you can lose the games that you won before. There was an incident in last season's game with Bradley Johnson attacking on Sanya, which ruled him ruled him out. Johnson yesterday said he, you know, it was an incident. It wasn't anything malicious in it at the time. You know, he's not that kind of player. How, how do you sort of, on reflection, view that incident? Now? Yeah, I thought it was an accident. Yes. Mm -hmm.